well, I guess we can talk about the fact that I come to the field every day when no one's here and get these little beans and eat them. They're really good. But that's how I lost a lot of weight. Just eating these little beans out here. Yeah, I just, like whenever I get hungry, I just come out here and eat like 10 of these and then I'm good for a couple hours. So like, so you gotta find them, like if their seeds are like real big, those are the good ones. Then you only have to eat like half as many and you're full. So you just pop it open. Oh, this one's kind of difficult. Just take it, take that little pea in you. Didn't pop in my mouth like I wanted it to. We'll try again. Gotta find a solid one. We still, we still got some babies out here. I've been eating all the big daddies. Okay, here we go. Here's a couple good ones. Just gotta snap it. You gotta pop it open. time consuming. Meal prep is a very time consuming thing, but when you get it, you get them gains. some shopping and we see Paula Monk from CFA. We're gonna go and we're gonna check out her cart a little bit to see what she's got in it. Okay. Okay, so what's on your list? Okay, so tell us something's on your list, Paula. You just made this so Tuna. much more exciting. Yes, Tuna. Check. Sweet potato. Check. Linda is an oh, artificial Susan's sweeter. <gasps> Susan, oh my gosh. This perfect. is the greatest. Okay, I'm so, so glad we are. Right now. <laughs> I think so, y'all running. Yeah, we were trying to catch Paula to see, and you don't have anything in your cart right now. We were just hoping you could. So what are some things you're going to buy today from the grocery section? Are you going to buy any groceries today? Buy bananas, right. avocados. Uh, probably Carbs some kind of protein. Oh, that's good. Some kind of protein also. Good. That's awesome, Susan. So it's so exciting to see the see y'all here like making good, good choices. Like that makes us really happy. In the bunion. Meal prepping recipes. I love the egg roll in a bowl because it's something that you can put into individual I have these Tupperware things that I can put individual servings in each thing so that every lunch I can just go grab one, pop it in the microwave, and I have something ready for me to eat. Okay. It's really tasty. So okay. Susan's here and she's trying to find some protein. So we're just gonna check out the protein and just see like what kind of stuff is in the protein. But no, it's 10 calories from fat. So it's only 1.5 grams of fat, so that's good. Um, sugar's gonna be less than one gram, so that's good. You're gonna get 30 grams of protein for one scoop. So that's a so I need to pretty good take amount. one or two? So, so it just kind of depends on what you need for your day. So if you're usually okay. low on protein, you're gonna take two scoops okay. and you'll get 60 grams of protein, which is a significant amount of protein. So you'll probably need that because um, you want your protein intake to be like one to one with your body weight. And then okay. um, only three grams of carbs. So that's gonna be good. 
I would say cut out a big chunk of time uh, on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, because it does take a while to prep meals for a whole week. Um, pick something that is easy for you to reheat, something that doesn't require a lot of um, time to reheat and something that's going to taste good when you reheat it because that's pretty much the way you're going to eat it. You know, pick a good meal that you really, really like, that way you don't get tired of it. Um, and do, you know, make sure that you hit your numbers whenever you do it. Get in a lot of good vegetables as well as the meat. Susan has picked up some Brussels sprouts and some carrots. Really great choices. Um, have a lot of vitamins, um, a lot of um, minerals. Um, so it's not like a ton of carbs, but it's a really great choice to like get, get the, uh, the nutrients you need. Okay, so, so even though it's not a lot of carbs, you still need that in your everyday a, yes, instead you of just rice and life. sweet potatoes. Yes. So this is these are like uh, necessary. These are really good. good so choice. for what those are so carrots. those are for your micros, right? So your uh, micronutrients. Yes. yes. And so um, yes, because micros are like vitamins and minerals. Okay. Uh, so yeah, carrots. Um, these are probably a little more high glycemic, a little more sugar, but they're still perfectly good. Great. Okay, so, so I thought that a white in. potato is not good for you. So okay. is that, what's, what's okay, up with a white so, potato? Okay, um, so I think that now, like the paleo, the athletes, paleo athletes, that that's like an acceptable, acceptable thing now. Okay, so white potatoes are okay, yes. but not for every single meal. Right, okay. right, in moderation. In moderation. So especially okay. when you're like working out, um, that that's a good thing. Okay, awesome. So, so what do you have in your buggy, Paula? You have some, some sweet potatoes, some avocados, some coleslaw mix. Yes, and lemons. My daughter loves lemon in her water. So tonight I'm having blackened fish tacos, wrapped in lettuce. And we put when I do that, I blacken it, and we put coleslaw, and I'll make. I have this great little. Um, processor I got from Paper Chef and I made guacamole in it. It's really good. So that's we're gonna awesome. put that on it too. So that's some good fats, some good protein yes. from your fish. Yes. And then your lettuce is your carbs, so yes. right. and then also your sweet potatoes in there. Yes. Put some sweet potatoes up. Yeah. Good job Paula. Awesome Paula. Really good, really good food I haven't gotten. I kind of stopped eating bacon and I started eating turkey bacon. Is that really bad? Okay, so my opinion on that, turkey bacon have you ever seen bacon on a turkey? I mean, no, that just doesn't I know fit. She, 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 right. Gets on so, to me. So to me, I, I just don't feel like that's a Is it legit bad? product. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily bad. I mean, I have to look at it. I mean, it is protein, but I think staying might not be or whatever it is. Um, like, they know, do have a couple products bacon that comes are from pig, and so I think bacon doesn't come from turkey. So that would just like right there. So I'd be like, stay away from turkey. I, I well, I think it's just I called would. bacon, but I think it's actually like just a meat. And you, the only thing with that is you just have to find the the products that are uncured, don't have any sugar in them. Yeah. And like you just have to read the ingredients to make right. sure. There's a lot of products that say they're turkey bacon that have a lot of like extra. Yeah, yeah. Stuff and I'm not really them. sure what turkey bacon is. You know, is it turkey? Is it bacon? <laughs> turkey I know. Bacon? I mean. <laughs> It's really feathers. not bacon. I mean, I'm not, it's I don't really know. Not bacon. I'm not sure. But ground right. turkey is okay. <laughs> okay, yes. I would say ground turkey is fine because it's turkey. Yeah, I mean, it's turkey. We had turkey yeah. breakfast the other day. Yeah. I was telling Zach. And I tell you something else that's really good um, is bison. Have you ever tried bison meat? Ground yeah, bison at Kroger. Uh, it no. is actually, it, it has a richer flavor than ground beef. So um, it's good. You might want to try that. Susan again, and um, in Susan's cart, She's got like a lot of good choices, bananas, um, that's really good, like um, before or after a workout, the carb source. Because those are high great. glycemic, right? Yes. So, so you want your higher help. you want your higher glycemic foods after, after you work out. Yes. So that's when you would Okay, so that's when you would eat your white potatoes, yes. your sweet potatoes, right. your bananas. Right. Um, so Susan's got like a, a lot of really good things in here. She's got some baby spinach. Like I said, it's not really high in carbs, but it's like really good, uh, it's nutrient dense. And that's so really important. It's a 
essential to have those green veggies in a yes, diet. It is. Even though they don't take up many macros right. and much carbs, you right. still need them. So like the, the butternut squash, um, your sweet potatoes are going to be, um, they're going to have a little more carbs in them. And they're going to be, like you said, good for after a workout to replenish. So if you could get all of those higher carb foods right after a workout and save your your spinach and your vegetables and stuff that are lower in carbs for like breakfast and at night for dinner. Right, perfect, that would okay. be great. I do meal prep. With a busy schedule and kids and their activities, meal prep is the way to go. It saves time for lunch and for the evenings. I try to plan for four to five days in advance. Usually on Sunday afternoons and evenings is when I begin my meal prep for the week. Uh, go to the grocery store, buy all the things that I need, and then during the evening time, plan, cook, and put things away in the refrigerator for later in the week. All right, guys, so there's a, a, we're over here in the meat section. So there's better and best, okay? So if you don't want to pay, you know, $5.98 a pound, um, you might not want to get this, but it's organic ground beef. It's 100% grass-fed, which meaning 100% grass-fed means it was started and finished on grass, okay? It wasn't started on grass and finished on grain, okay? So 100% grass-fed, this would be like a really good choice. So okay? that would be the best choice if you're getting ground beef. Right. And but then, also if you don't want to spend that much money so we can just go to like a normal. Right. Beef. So here's some other choices. All natural, all natural, extra lean ground beef, 96% lean, 4% fat. This is 93% lean, 7% fat. Um, when you get really low like that in fat, you may have to add like a little extra like olive oil, coconut, coconut oil while you're like sauteing it, um, I'm sauteing, browning it. <laughs> um, so it's not going to have as much fat, so um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty lean. So those are so you want it to be leaner. Yes, you want to have you want to pick leaner. Uh, so grass-fed beef would be the best, and then like the leanest meat other than that would be right, good. Right, right. So chicken breast would be a, a good source of protein, yes. and it's also yes. low fat. Right. So it's gonna have less fat than your your beef and your like pork right. options. Right, this is good. So you want it to be like a skinless, boneless okay. chicken breast. Right, yes. Okay. So it's 99% fat free. So it's just like gonna be pretty much just pure protein. You're not gonna get any carbs really for this or really any fat. So this is like great, great protein source. So another option, like if you don't have time to cook and you're like in a bind, if you just go to your grocery store and like grab a rotisserie chicken, you can just pull the skin that's off perfect. and then just eat the meat and you can like, that's a that's a good option if you don't have time to cook your own right. chicken. Rotisserie chicken is a time saver and it's convenient, easy, it's, it's perfect. So you can just do that and like have a cooked sweet potato for like right after you yes. work out. Perfect. Perfect. So um, I usually prep on Sunday afternoons, um, and and that uh, what that what I do is I get all of my vegetables, my raw vegetables, and I get them chopped or minced or um, spiraled or whatever needs to happen. So um, I'll have a variety. Uh, I like colorful foods. And so uh, my most favorite is to use my little vegetizer uh, with zucchini or um, squash. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just spiralize the noodles and put them in a glass container um, and keep those in the refrigerators. And that's real refrigerator. That's my go-to item for uh, can be for breakfast or for lunch. Um, so um, I usually brown my ground meat on Sundays, roast my chicken on Sundays so that I have that protein easy go-to. So for breakfast, um, I really like leftovers. Right. So, um, you know, at night if we have uh, roasted chicken and sweet potatoes and some of those spiral uh, vegetables, um, I'll just get my eggs uh, in the morning, scramble my eggs, throw in those vegetables um, with a little bit of onion, and um, that's my breakfast. And it, it ends up being a really uh, hearty, nutrient-dense breakfast. So wild caught salmon would be better than than the farmed yes, salmon. Yes, definitely. Because the farm salmon is going to have more of your preservatives and your steroids uh, and stuff like that. Well, it's going to be more polluted. Yeah. Um, and then they actually feed the fish stuff that's not as healthy. It's not their natural environment. So wild caught is the best if you can find it fresh. And if you uh, find it fresh, it's going to be redder than the other. Yes. Um, well, maybe sometimes. 
um, the fish, they inject it with something to make it have that color. So just read, like read your labels, look at stuff. So what are you looking for when you're reading the back of these Okay, bags? so I'm looking just to see what's in it. Um, and like some of this stuff on here, like I have no idea. Um, I can't even really pronounce. It's a phosphate. I don't know what that is. So okay. if you don't know the word, you'd probably stay away from it. Right. That's my thoughts. If you don't know what something is, okay, then you probably don't want to put it in your body. Uh, you can go and look it up and see what it is. And then you may really say, oh, okay. Uh, because, you know, the general population doesn't even know what that means. Okay. So it's important to read your labels and to make sure that you know what you're eating. I find it easier to go ahead and meal prep my meat. Um, I'll cook a lot of meat on Sundays because it's real easy to just cut up a salad or to cook some fresh vegetables because those don't take long in the evenings when I get home. So my favorite is to get the grill out on Sundays and go ahead and meal prep some meat because the protein is really, you know, you need the protein and meat usually takes a little bit longer to cook in the evenings. If you look in the ingredients, it says crawfish, tell me. There's nothing else in it. So that would be that would be a good thing if you like you want to make a dish for that. So it's better than the shrimp. Uh, I would think that's good. This has a lot more preservatives. Okay, if you could just buy it fresh, that's probably the best. So Susan had a question about bacon. So this looks like a pretty good choice. Um, if you read the ingredients on the back, okay, original uncured bacon, no preservatives, 100% natural. Okay, so natural is kind of a buzzword, so you need to read the ingredients and make sure. So pork, water, salt, turbinado sugar, which is sugar, but it is sugar in the raw, so it's not processed, so it's better than an artificial sweetener. Okay, um, and then uh, cultured celery juice powder, sea salt. Okay, so that's self-explanatory. You know what those things are, okay? Um, no MSG, uh, no preservatives, minimally processed. Okay, so on the other hand, you look at this original turkey bacon. Okay, so first of all, what is that, okay? So you look on the back, you see turkey, water, sugar, potassium, lactate, salt, bacon-type flavor, and the list goes on. Things I can't even pronounce. So first of all, bacon-type flavor should keep you from purchasing this, okay? Because you have no idea. What is that? I don't know. It could be anything. So, so your better choice for bacon would be a, an uncured bacon. Right. And have ingredients right. that you can understand right. and know that are good. Right. Favorite meal, I guess, would be the dinner because I usually make the food fresh there. But I love rest. I love uh, leftovers, so right. <laughs> I like good food just in general. So. All right, so we're here at the eggs. The eggs are my favorite, great source of protein, complete source of protein. They have all the amino acids, and they're the cheapest source of protein that you can get. Yogurt's a great source of protein, especially the Greek yogurt. But the thing with yogurt, you have to be careful because you have all the sugar, and if you start reading labels, you're gonna so find a lot of sugar. So many different kinds of yogurt. A lot of sugar. Um, so what would be our best choice out of all of these? One of the, one of the brands that I like is, uh, Bage, all natural, non fat uh, Greek strain yogurt. So, if you don't like the taste of it, it can be a little strong. So, you can add like some raw honey or some banana, blueberry, something, peaches to uh, flavor it yourself. So, but just read the labels. Try to avoid things that have a lot of like sugar, extra ingredients. A lot so, of another, are, uh, so, another uh, brand that you usually get would be called Stonyfield. And that's going to be another great. So on the ingredients list, you're going to want to see that it has zero fat and that the sugar is pretty low, the protein's high, and the carbs are like in a medium. Okay, so Susan's <laughs> going to get some coconut water. So this is going to be great to replenish after a workout. So it's going to help get our electrolytes back. And also it has some carbs in it, so it's good for replenishing that after the workout. Over here at the oils, uh, coconut oil. Um, I would get the unrefined because it's a little less processed and this is great. It's going to add a buttery flavor if you want to saute your vegetables. Um, in this, it would be great. 